the year 2005 paper 1 SPM additional mathematics okay this question you see it is a combination of the chain rule and the second derivative okay let's see how this is done you are given okay the function gx equals to 2 over 2x minus 7 power 3 and you are asked to find the value of the second derivative when x equals to 1 okay let's see how this is done okay now the solution is like this gx equals 2 over 2x minus 7 power 3 okay so before we do differentiation, we have to move this up. So we have 2 times 2x minus 7 power negative 3. 3 becomes negative 3. Okay. Now, the first derivative, one stroke, first derivative, that means we differentiate this so what we do how do we differentiate negative 3 we bring forward okay we multiply and minus 1 the power you minus 1 okay okay first you differentiate the whole thing like this right then you differentiate this this 2x minus 7 when you differentiate 2x minus 7, you get 2. Okay? Now you multiply negative 3 times 2. Times 2 is negative 12. Bracket 2x minus 7 power. Negative 3 minus 1, negative 4. Okay? Get it? Okay, now. This is the 
first derivative. Now, we are going for the second derivative. Okay, this is the second derivative. So, what do you do? Take the negative 4, bring forward, multiply here. And here, you minus 1. Okay? So, this is what you get. Negative 4 times negative 12, bracket, 2x minus 7, power, negative 4 minus 1. Okay? Times, you differentiate this. 2x minus 7, like just now, you get 2. Okay? Negative 4 times negative 12 is 48. 48 times 2, 96. 96 bracket 2x minus 7 power negative 5. Negative 4 minus 1, negative 5. Okay? Now, you bring this whole thing down. When you bring down, the power becomes positive. So you get 96 over 2x minus 7 power 5. Okay. What are we supposed to find? We are asked to find this. The value of the second derivative when x equals to 1. Okay. So, we substitute here 1. Okay. So, 96 over 2 times 1. Okay. We make it into a bigger bracket like this. 2 times 1. Minus 7. Power. Okay, get it? So this is equal to 96 over negative 5 power 5. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. Okay, so you get negative 96 over. Why negative? Because negative number power is odd number when the power is odd negative remains negative so negative three one two five this is your answer as simple as that thank you I have for you a clone question based on the year 2006 SPM paper 1 additional mathematics okay you are given y equals to 3 over 4 v to the power of 5 where v equals to 4x minus 3 and you are asked to find the value of or find dy dx in terms of X. Okay, this question involves the chain rule. Okay, so you are given y equals to 3 over 4 v to the power of 5 and v equals to 4x minus 3. Okay, from here you differentiate dy dv. Okay, when you differentiate, you get 5 times, this 5 comes forward, okay? 5 times 3 over 4, V to the power of 5 minus 1. That is 4, okay? And from here, DV DX is equal to 4. Just 4. Only this. Okay. Now, applying the chain rule, Applying the chain rule. The chain rule is dy dx equals to dy dv times dv dx. Now, it is something like as though dv dv you can cancel off as though it is like that. Okay. Now, from here, dv dy dv is this. 15 over 4v to the power of 4 times dv dx. dv dx is 4. Okay, 
Now, from here, you see, 4 and 4, we cancel. What do you get? You get 15 V to the power of 4. 15 V to the power of 4. But what is V? V is 4X minus 3. So you bring this N. You substitute there. So what do you get? You get 15 times 4X minus 3 power 4. This is your answer for dy dx. It's as simple as that. Thank you.